Welcome to the Transforming Church. We call it TTC. It's not just another church, but a life transforming hub. It's a place where we pray fervently. It's a place where we worship passionately. Your circumstances and situations were designed to be your inspiration, not your limitation. It is the place where the word prevails daily. It is a place where love reigns supremely. It's a place where God's power flows consistently. Here at TTC, we are committed to making disciples and turning them into extraordinary kingdom leaders. For more information, visit www.thetransformingchurch.org. When we pray, there's a God who heals us. Welcome to the Transforming Church. We call it TTC. It's not just another church, but a life transforming hub. It's a place where we pray fervently. It's a place where we worship passionately. Your circumstances and situations were designed to be your inspiration, not your limitation. It is the place where the word prevails daily. It is a place where love reigns supremely. It's a place where God's power flows consistently. Here at TTC, we are committed to making disciples and turning them into extraordinary kingdom leaders. For more information, visit www.thetransformingchurch.org. When we pray, there's a God who heals us. Welcome to the Transforming Church. We call it TTC. It's not just another church, but a life transforming hub. It's a place where we pray fervently. It's a place where we worship passionately. Your circumstances and situations were designed to be your inspiration, not your limitation. It is the place where the word prevails daily. It is a place where love reigns supremely. It's a place where God's power flows consistently. Here at TTC. Everybody wanna dance. Hey, everybody wanna dance. Hey, everybody wanna dance. 
big sick. I don't know. Oh, you were chuku, as he did me bread you. I don't know. Oh, you were chuku, as he did me success. I don't know. Oh, you were chuku, as he did me good health. I don't know. Oh, you were chuku, as he did me baby. I don't know. Oh, you were chuku, as he did me children. I don't know. Oh, you were chuku, as he did me. Why when Chuku has given him? I come back. Why when Chuku has given him? I come back. Why when Chuku, I'm pressing you to die. I do my
rejoice, 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 rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say rejoice. Come on, somebody. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord with a sound of rejoicing in the house. Come on, somebody. Shout of praise. Shout hallelujah. Some cannot testify as you are testifying today. First quarter has ended. Look at you. Standing in health. Nothing has wrong with you. God has kept your family. It looks as if um, you're just feeling that it's just one of those things. But God kept you. I want somebody who appreciates the goodness of God in his life to go before him this morning and just wave your hands to him and say, Father, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. I worship you. Lord, we thank you. For your goodness over our life. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for that pouring of your grace. Yes, we rejoice in the Lord this morning. We rejoice in the Lord this morning. Father, we bless your name. Thank you for keeping us alive. We worship you, Father. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Psalm 86 verse 17. Quickly, our anchor scripture to pray this morning. The Passion Translation. The Bible says, send me a miraculous sign to show me how much you love me. So that those who hate me will see it and are ashamed. Don't they know that you, Lord, are my comforter, the one who comes to help me? I'd like you to raise those hands to the Lord this morning and say, Father, show me a miraculous sign, evidence of your goodness in my life to show that you love me. Come on, somebody, raise your voice to the Lord today that before the end of this month, I need a miraculous sign of your goodness in my life. Come on, somebody, raise your voice to the Lord this morning. Lord, a proof of your goodness in our life. We receive in the name of Jesus a sign of your goodness. Show us, oh God, a sign of your goodness in our life. Show us, oh God, a sign of your favor in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, evidence of your favor in the name of Jesus. Lord, show us, oh God, a sign of your love. We receive a sign of your love in the name of Jesus. Let it be known, oh God, that Lord, you love us. Let it be known, oh God, that you are our helper. Let it be known, oh God, that you are the one that lifted up us up. Lord, show us, oh God, sign of your miraculous. Sign of the miraculous in our life. In the name of Jesus. Malabas. Bible says, I and the children that God has given to me, they are for signs and they are for wonders. I decree over your life. That from this day onward, you are signs personified in the name of Jesus. Give me Psalm 90, 90 verse 17. Psalm 90, verse 17. Bible says, Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. When the favor of God rests upon you, there's something you will see that will happen to you. And make the work of our hands stand strong. Yes, make the work of our hand stand strong. I love the contemporary English version. It says, Oh Lord our God, treat us with kindness and let all go well for us. Come on, raise just those hands upon your head and say, Father, let all go well for me. From this day onward, oh God, show your kindness in my life. From this day onward, oh God, let my life be an epitome of signs and wonder. Come on, somebody, raise your voice to the Lord this morning. In the name of Jesus, let all go well, oh God. Let all go well for my business. Let all go well for my children. Let all go well for my family. In the name of Jesus, rest upon me, O God. Your greatness.
goodness, oh God, rest upon me, oh God. Your hand, oh God, rest upon me, oh God. Your favor in the name of Jesus. I decree over your life. Throughout this month, let the favor of God rest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I'm not hearing that amen. From this day onward, the favor of God will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. It is your time now. It is your season. It is your moment. Come on, somebody put those hands together for the Lord Jesus. Good morning, church. You may have your seats. Say welcome to someone beside you. My name is Olayemi Akomode. And I'm here to welcome those worshiping with us for the first time. And also those that are connected to us online. You're welcome to church. It's your father's house. Relax and enjoy as we tell you the reason why we exist as a church. Our vision is one church making global impact. We believe that in the next 10 years, God is calling us to pursue leadership multiplication for global evangelization such that 10,000 believers will be discipled, equipped, and released to go impact their different spheres of life and plant churches locally and globally. So be a content creator, a doctor, a lawyer, an, uh, an engineer, you're a psychologist, you're a nurse, you're supposed to go out and impact your spheres of life, anywhere you find yourself, be an ambassador of Christ. Our mission is to be a church with a strong commitment to kingdom values. We exist to lead people into a life-transforming relationship with Jesus Christ. And we do this through our core values, leadership development, inspiring worship, family well-being, and excellent service. As you worship with us today, on-site and, on, 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 and online, May your life be transformed to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Relax and enjoy the service. A couple of months ago, and my son just started uh, having some very, very heavy uh, snoring. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I know that it's not normal and it came from somewhere. Because he was always sleeping very well. And I've uh, sent the video in to, to kind of explain and people, so that uh, people watching this video would understand the um the depth to which this uh, um uh, sleep disorder was was giving him was giving him a lot of discomfort you could actually see his chest expanding and contracting as a parent it it is very very disturbing so i brought it on the altar and i prayed and i prayed and i asked god to to take this away um several times uh, reverend sam also prayed for children and we also prayed for covering over them and i asked god and i said oh, god Please make this go away. So, um, sometime a few weeks back, the, the problem just suddenly stopped. We had not given him any medication. We had not taken him to the hospital. We had not done anything. We knew that prayer could solve this because this did not just appear from appear from uh, <laughs> appear appear by by chance, right? This this thing appeared from somewhere. It came from somewhere. And wherever it came from, we had agreed and we said that it will go back to where it's coming from. And whatever issue, God was going to take it away. And God answered our prayers. And now he's sleeping fine and there's no issue. Um, thank you for teaching us how to pray. Thank you for, for um, making a second generation, which is our, our children, understand prayer. Because while we are praying, they are, they are actually seeing this prayer. They actually know and hear the things that we do and it is it is a culture thing because when they grow up they will do the same we thank you very much and we say once again that with our god all things are possible i want to thank you for your prayers encouraging us every morning it all happened about two weeks ago on the 22nd to be precise my wife uh, was were due for delivery but we have been waiting the baby was not coming forth so on the 22nd on Wednesday she called me from work and I had to come home she was telling me that let us just go to the clinic as we are going to the clinic 
something just touched me. I just said, let me play a message for PPH. And I started playing, and the first message that came out that day was, this will be your last day in the hospital. Pastor Shego was praying then. He said, this will be your last day in the hospital. And I keyed into it because we have been waiting for a very long time for the baby. Go to the clinic, out in like that, until that day. And I keyed into it. Immediately we got to the clinic that Wednesday. My wife water broke just at the reception. Immediately we just entered the reception. Long story short, we are having our baby today. And I named her testimony because she is my testimony. For with our God, all things are possible. Thank you very much, Pastor Shegu. Thank you, Reverend Sam, for all your prayers in the morning. It helped. It always encourages us. And I say, all the prayers we have been hearing makes us to be bolder when we want to ask God for things. Thank you. God bless you. And may the oil of your head never run dry. Thank you very much. God bless you once again. My name is Yinkani Dubiola Nyo, and I'm testifying from Lagos, Nigeria. I joined PPH in 2019, and ever since then, God has been faithful. I'm here to testify about my business, which God blessed us last month. My testimony is about the blessing from the Almighty for my business, where we got to advertise our products and services across Africa for about three weeks in a free advertisement. This is nothing solely but the faithfulness of our God Almighty. And I'm here to give all glory, all honor, all adoration to God. We serve a God who makes things happen. I know that with our God, all things are possible. And therefore, I have come to testify about the goodness and the faithfulness of our God. I'm here to encourage my fellow brothers and sisters that whatever you are passing through, remember you have a God who makes things happen. Remember, we serve a God in, with, with which all things are possible. Nothing is impossible for our God. And therefore, we'll continue praying, believing, and knowing that our God will always be faithful. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you, Pastor Shegun, Pastor Nelson, Pastor Sheung, the intercessors, for everything you do for us on a daily basis, for teaching us to pray, for teaching us to approach the throne of grace. God bless you all. Monday to Friday, it will be five days of revival fire. You want God to set your heart on fire. Your prayer altar has gone down. There is no more fire in your prayer. You are almost finding it difficult to pray. You've been dealing with mysterious and demonic challenges, things that defy logic. There is no explanation for some of the things you are dealing with right now. And you're saying, oh God, arise in my favor. Join us Monday to Friday as we engage that God was doing all the miracles that we've been seeing every day on this altar. From over 110 countries, people testifying, telling us what God is doing as we pray, we prevail, we prosper because with our God, all things are possible. I can't wait to have you join us every day as we engage heaven, particularly Monday to Friday of this new week. May the God of heaven bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's Thanksgiving. Can we just do a, a throwback for a few seconds? Can we take it back to Children's Church? So I'm going to say, if you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If the Lord has been good to you, say amen. If he woke you up this morning and he set you on your way, if the Lord is good to you, say hallelujah. Come on, slap your neighbor a high five and say, God is good. Let's go. Hey, just ready to praise the Lord today. You might want to sign up for this one. Hey, God is good to me. I don't know about you. Hey, I've heard a text before me. Hey, send me I want to testify. I want to testify. Do you have a testament? Say, I want to testify. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. 
Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a big shout of praise. Put your hands up for the Lord. I believe we can do better. Come on. Hallelujah. Sound, they need to work on this sound. It's, uh, it's not where it's supposed to be at all. Hallelujah. <laughs> you want to just appreciate the total family for that awesome moment in God's sound. Is that how much you can appreciate the quality, the anointing, the grace? Thank you so much. Hallelujah. If you are glad to see the first Sunday of the month of April 2024, you saw the beginning, you are seeing the end, and you know that it's, it's by the mercy of the Lord, it's not by power, it's not by might. God kept you, God preserved you, and you want to just show some gratitude to God. You want to show him some praise, some gratitude. You want to honor him that you are in the sanctuary on a day like this, not in the mortuary. You are in God's house. You are not in the hospital. Come on, just appreciate the Lord. It could have been you elsewhere. It could have been you elsewhere. If not for his grace, if not for his mercy. It is by the mercy of the Lord that we are not consumed. His mercies are new every morning. Do I have a grateful soul in the house of the Lord this morning? You just want to honor the Lord. You want to appreciate the Lord. This is a time that a lot of people are giving up. A lot of people are just calling it quit. If you are still here, you are standing, you are healthy, you are strong, you are ill and hearty. Come on, jam your hands together to appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. You can do better. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you just help me reach out to three people and tell them, welcome to the month of April. I sense God wants to use you to bless me in this month. I sense God wants to use you to bless me this month. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's appreciate our Father in the Lord. He's not going to be ministering this morning. I know those of us who came, you know, I, I know you want to listen to a pastor or he has authorized me to just speak to you on his behalf this morning. Would that be okay? So please, don't pack your bag and don't go. Don't feel disappointed. <laughs> Amen. So the spirit of prophet is on the sons of prophets. Hallelujah. Let's honor our Father in the Lord for the great work he's doing. It's such a blessing to us in this house and not to us alone, but to the global world. As I'm talking to you right now, Reverend Dr. Sam Oye is in Philippines. Manila, for that matter. That's the best place in the Philippines. And he has been invited by a high-profile organization, you know, just in conformity to what God has been, you know, doing and seeing through him that the nations of the world is going to travel there, all expenses paid on an invitation of government and organization. That's what just happened. Hallelujah. And the good thing about it is the fact that it will, not, it will not just be ministering there, but it's going to be inaugurating our church in Philippines, TTC Philippines. Is that how much you can appreciate what God is doing? Please help me check the reaction of your neighbor to know whether the, that person is a suspect or not. Hallelujah. We are glad to belong to this house. We are glad to serve under this commission. It is a privilege. Hallelujah. Thank God for what is happening in our time, in our days, right before our eyes. Hallelujah. God bless me after you sit in his glorious presence. All our online audience, wherever you are watching us from, we want to welcome you to the Transforming Church, to this broadcast. I believe that it's going to change your life, transform you, and bless you tremendously. It's not a coincidence that you turn into this broadcast this morning. I believe God ordered your step. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 5. Verse 25, Mark chapter 5, verse 25. Thank you, Jesus. Now, a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. Let's just move as fast as we can. And had suffered many things 
from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came from behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. Verse 28, for she said, if only I may touch his, his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body uh, that she was healed of the affliction. Verse 30, and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power, everybody shout power. I can't hear you. Like someone who has a Zeus here to shout it. Like someone that has been authorized, as you have been given the legitimate authorization. All right. That power had gone out of him. Turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? Hallelujah. But his disciples said to him, you see the multitude thronging you. And you still say, who, who touched you? Who touched me? Many of us are touching you now. And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her. There are miracles you don't wish it should, be, uh, should be reversed because of what your eyes have seen before you got them. So she was wondering, this man, through which this miracle happened, I hope he will not get angry and say, I collect my miracle back. Hallelujah. Whatever God has done for you will last in the name of Jesus. You will not miss your place in Jesus' name. You will not miss your miracle in the name of Jesus. You will not see setback in Jesus' name. What God has done will be established forever in the name of Jesus. Instead of you to lose, you will continue to gain. Knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the old truth. Verse 34. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and, he, and be healed of your affliction. Your faith is what gets the job done. Your faith is what gets the job done. Your faith is what attracts the power. Your faith is what triggers the power, provoke the power. Father, we ask that you bless your word this morning in the name of Jesus. So this morning's service, we laid some foundation about the power of God and we said, all power belongs to who? All power belongs to God. Psalm 62, verse 11. He said, Once as he spoken, twice have I heard that power belongs to God. Power does, does not belong to Satan. If Satan is having any power at all, it is, a manip it is manipulated power. It is corrupt power. It is invalid power. Because all power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. So, and in the first service, we established that there are two major expressions used for power in the New Testament. So, the first one is what? Those of us who were in the first service. Exousia. And what does that mean? Authority. The right the privilege, the authorization, the endorsement to carry out a task. Not everybody has the right to carry out a task. Not everybody has the right to make arrest. Not everybody has the right to drive. If you don't have license to drive and you drive, you can be arrested. So authorization is very important. The reason why I'm holding, holding this mark this morning is because I've been what? I can't hear you. Speak to me. I've been authorized. I can't just come from nowhere and grab the mark and say, I want to preach in Transformation this morning. It does not happen that way. Praise God. I'm only authorized 
to be with one woman on earth. Any other woman, I'm not authorized to be with them in a particular way. Amen. <laughs> so you are only authorized as a man to be with one woman in a particular way. And you are only authorized as a woman to be with one man. So polyandry is not authorized. And you are only authorized as a man to be with woman. You are not authorized to be with another man as a man. If you like, be a cross dress dresser. Let them even give you a word. You are only fooling yourself and fooling those who are giving you that word. Because you are only authorized to be either or you can't be the both at the same time. That's aberration. Hallelujah. It's important that you know what you have been authorized to do. I've been authorized to ensure that my family is under the agenda, the purpose of God. Anything I want to mess up with the purpose of God under my watch, I have the right to disallow it. Ah, he said, whatsoever you allow on earth shall be allowed. And whatsoever you disallowed on earth shall be disallowed. So I have been authorized to allow some things and to disallow some things. I'm authorized to disallow poverty in my, in my household and sickness. Some things should not happen under my watch because I've been authorized to keep watch over my house. Some say I'm authorized. So because I don't want to repeat first service sermon, I want to go to the second part. The second Greek word translated power in the New Testament is what we call dunamis. Dunamis. Somebody say dunamis. It's like dynamite. <laughs> Anywhere that is dynamite, you know that something has happened there. It's an explosion. Hallelujah. Monumental impact. Monumental effect. Dynamite cannot be used in a place and that place will remain normal. No. So, dunamis is the dynamic manifestation of the power of God. Dynamic manifestation of the power of God that lives in the libel mark, that leave a lasting impact. That's what dynamis is. In fact, to put it in context, dynamis is the ability to enforce compliance with authority. So if exusia is authority, so what is dunamis? Dunamis is the ability to enforce compliance with authority. You know, the authority or existence of a policeman gives him the right to approach a suspect or a criminal to arrest, to arrest him. It's possible to have authorization and not have ability. So a policeman that only goes with a stick to go and effect arrest, hallelujah, anything is I see, let him just take it like that, amen. Because there are suspects, there are criminals, you don't just go with uniform, hallelujah. The mission can, can, can backfire. The mission can, be, can lead in colossal damage. So, when you appear before some suspect or some criminal and you, you want to arrest them, they will look at you with your uniform, with your ID card and say, is it me you want to come and show you a picture? Tani, why do you tani? 
<laughs> you want to arrest me? They know born your father well. Oh yeah, now, before I open my eyes, back to wherever you came from, be, before I close my eyes and open it, you better disappear now. Hallelujah. And you see, the person with us, as you say, I say, hey, hey, <clears throat> we are coming back, oh, we are coming back, oh, we are coming back, oh. And <laughs> they will just respect themselves and leave. Praise God. But to avoid that, you don't just give a policeman exusia, the authority to arrest, the uniform, the badge. You also give him dunamis. What is dunamis? Hallelujah. So when they meet a very ardent criminal or suspect, say so you are under arrest. You are following also Alagbon and station <laughs> ABCD. I don't, I don't know how they call it and I don't want to know. Say so now, maybe the dynamics is hidden, and the guy is trying to mislead. Ah ah, show you a question. I know they go anywhere. Eh? Who are you and who? When the guy, you know, press this dynamics and bring out dynamics. Ah ah, all guys, calm down now. Ah ah. <laughs> oh, it does not reach that one. Ah ah. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just calm down, please. Calm, calm down. Eh? What, what is all of your hair now? Oh, yeah, let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. Hallelujah. So, what is the purpose of dunamis? The dunamis has been given to enforce exousia. When anyone wants to resist exousia, that's when you pull out the dunamis. Hallelujah. If you try to molest the one, the policeman or military officer who is carrying exusia authority, you don't have regard for his uniform, you don't have regard for his, his arrest warrant, then they will show you that exusia is not always alone. Exusia has the backing of dunamis. Hallelujah. So what the word of God gives you is exusia authorization if it's in the world you have the right to enjoy it but like some hardened criminal like some stubborn suspect they don't listen to exusia alone until you pull out the dunamis so if the world gives you duna, um, exusia the question is what gives you dunamis Acts 1 verse 8, verse 8. you shall receive so that power there is dunamis. You shall receive dunamis after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. The word of God, relationship with Jesus, gives you authority. When you mention the name of uh, Jesus, you are being authorized. You are within authority. But when you pull out the power of the Holy Ghost, then you are engaging dunamis. Hallelujah. So the word gives dunamis. Relationship with Jesus gives exousia. I beg your pardon. The word of God gives exousia. Relationship with Jesus, acting in the name of Jesus, gives you exousia. But the power of the Holy Ghost. Some of these have power. So, some of us, we are born again we know Jesus and we have access to exousia. But if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, you don't understand what dunamis is all about. Because it is when you are filled with the Holy Ghost that the dunamis, hallelujah, the dynamic power of God in operation, in manifestation, comes upon you when you are filled with the Holy Ghost. How many of us are filled with the Holy Ghost in this, in this church this morning? You are filled with the Holy Ghost. Can I hear you shout dunamis? I'm not saying dunamis in the national church. No, that's not what Somebody shout dunamis. You are shouting dunamis and it's not even reflecting your countenance. Somebody shout dunamis. You know, Paul saw some believers in Ephesus. He said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Because all your disposition, 
the way I'm looking at you, you don't look like someone who is carrying the Holy Ghost. So, which means when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, that, a, that will be a difference, right? When you are filled with the Holy Ghost, there should be a difference. That was why fishermen, some of them unlearned, illiterate, nobody, but when the Holy Ghost came upon them, they became another set of men completely. Hallelujah. I decree and declare from today, the dynamic power, the dynamics of the Holy Ghost will begin to operate in your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I receive power. I have power. Why? Why do you have power? Because you are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. Anywhere that is Holy Ghost, that is power. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and and what? So the power there is dunamis. Holy Ghost and dunamis. Holy Ghost and power. Anywhere that is Holy Ghost, dunamis must be present. Hallelujah. Somebody shout dunamis. So what did the woman with the flow of blood contact from Jesus? Is it exusia or dunamis? <laughs> so let me show you the features of dunamis. Amen. Should I go ahead? Are you interested? This will let you know whether you have it or not. It is true dunamis that will compel compliance and respect. See, the secular world is a proud world. The secular world is arrogant, so pompous, so cocky. They respect no one, they listen to no one. There are two reasons why the secular world will give you attention. You want me to mention them? Number one, when you walk in supernatural wealth, stupendous wealth, they will give you attention. That is why the church should not be poor. Hallelujah. You will not be broke in the name of Jesus. See, no matter how much you carry wisdom, you carry grace, if you are poor, nobody listens to you. Nobody listens to you. The wisdom of a poor man is, 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 is useless. Because the attitude is that if you are so wise, why is it that it doesn't work for you? So even if you hate prosperity for the purpose of effect and respect, you should convert it. Nobody respects your Christianity in your family if you are, if you are a poor person. I'm telling you the truth. The second thing that the secular world Respect is power. Somebody shout power. And I prove that to you from God's word. Psalm 66 verse 3. Psalm 66 verse 3. Ah, in all of getting, get power. If Christianity is devoid of power, I don't want to be part of it. Because it's different, it's, it's not different from any other religion. That is why the resurrection power is what makes Christianity different. And that same power, that same spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, that same spirit is dwelling in you and will quicken your mother body. He says, say to God, how awesome are your works? Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. Did you hear that? Why will the enemies of God submit to God? Because of the manifestation of his power. He said, through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. Ah, I decree and declare, because of the manifestation of the power of God, do not miss power of God in your life. Your enemies will bow down to you. I say, your enemy will bow down to you. Your critics will change their mind. Somebody shout power. Put your hands on your hands and say, Lord, let power rest upon me. Help me walk in power. Exodus chapter 7. Aaron threw down his staff and he became snake. The magicians also threw down the staff and he became snake. And Bible said, Bible said that the staff of Aaron that became snake swallowed up the staff that 
uh, of, the, of the magician, the snake the staff became was swallowed up by the snake that the staff of Aaron became. I don't know every power that's been operating around you, in your sector, in your family, in your community. I decree and declare the power of God will swallow them up. I say the power of God will swallow them up. Every conspiracy, every gang up against you in your industry, in your sector, because of the greatness of God's power in your life, they shall bow in the name of Jesus. Lesser power shall bow in the name of Jesus. Mommy, water power will bow in the name of Jesus. So, the same way policemen compel arrest through gun, that is the same way a child of God compel arrest, arrest of sickness, arrest of demons. Now, Give me John 4, 48. John 4, 48. Even Jesus understand how a normal person thinks. Hallelujah. Please, let your Christianity not be devoid of power. Please, I beg you. Do everything possible to be sure that your Christianity is full of power. Someone say, I carry power. Jesus said to them, unless... These people see signs and wonders. You will by no means believe. Give me NIV. 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 Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. That's how the world thinks. Unless they see signs and wonders, they will never believe. And the same thing is applicable to you. Those of your cousins, your siblings, your maybe family members, uncles be preaching to. The reason why they are not responding to you right now is because they have not seen power. Hallelujah. The day God used you to do a notable miracle before them. Hallelujah. They will say, please, why is your choice? I will follow you. Hallelujah. I decree and declare, you will no longer be seen as a joke in the name of Jesus. Everyone looking at you as if you are a joker. Everyone looking at you as if you are, a, you are a scam. From today, I decree and declare that experience is over. In the name of Jesus, people will believe you from today because you, you walk in power. Hallelujah. See, you don't need to preach for too long if power is at work. As I'm talking right now, dunamis is working. Amen. There are people getting healed right now. Amen is not correct. So, dunamis com compare compliance and respect. Dunamis is in dimensions. Hallelujah. John 3.34 He said, Jesus was given spirit without measure. So, the only person that has the anointing without measure, limitless, he said, for, for he whom God has sent speaks the word of God. For God does not give the spirit by measure. The only person that does not have, that, that has limitless anointing is Jesus. All of us, we are still walking in a measure of dunamis. Hallelujah. So you can press him for more. Nobody can say, I have all the dunamis that is available. No. Are you aware that the first miracle of Peter, how did it happen? He said to the lame at the beautiful gate, in silver and, and gold I have not, but such that I have, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. The crippled man was looking at him. Beauty, <laughs> No sign, nothing. Ah, Peter said, my ministry must not end there. You know what he did? I would say, he grabbed his hand. <laughs> if declaration will not do it, I, I will support it. He grabbed his hand and pulled him up. Hallelujah. He also supports his declaration. But that same Peter, as he continued to press into dunamis, he got to a level that even his shadow began to heal the sick. 
That's where God is bringing you into. I said, that's where God is bringing you into. Your shadow will perform miracles. Your shadow will heal the sick. I'm not saying I'm there yet, oh, hallelujah. I'm also pressing towards it. Paul said, this one thing I do, forgetting those that are behind, I press forward, hallelujah, to the press of iconic. Why are you too satisfied too soon? Hallelujah. Satisfied too soon. No hunger, no fire, nothing. Just this or ship we need small. Oh God, oh God. Let me tell you, say, there is more. There is more. I'm hungry for more. I want more. How many of us want more dunamis? More dunamis. Hallelujah. So dunamis is in dimension. Dunamis is invisible. But it creates visible effect. I want to ask you, what is the color of dunamis? Anybody that, does anybody know? No, tell me, what is the color of dunamis? Is it white? Is it black? Is it blue? Hallelujah. Dunamis is like a wind. He said the wind blow wherever it wishes. Nobody can tell where it goes or where it comes from. Hallelujah. So, you don't see the wind, but do you see the effect of wind? When you see leaves blowing, when you see trees moving in the forest, hallelujah, with, with, with so much power, that is the effect of wind. We don't see wind, but we see the effect of wind, hallelujah. We don't see dunamis with our physical eyes, but we can see the effect. So how do I know that you are carrying dunamis? How? Because the effect, the effect, the effect. If I say that those that do know their God, they shall be strong. That's power, right? So when they are strong, what will they do? Talk to me now. Somebody shout exploit. How do I know you are strong? How do I know you carry power? By exploit, by exploit. Hallelujah. If you have dunamis, I should see the effect of it in your business. I don't just want to be a, a, a preacher. I want to be a preacher with dunamis. I, 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 I wish I could have mothers here, fathers, who we say, I don't just want to be a parent. I want to be a parent with dunamis. When you see children that have been parented by dunamis, you will see, you will know. It will be different. Hallelujah. How can your student be smoking Igbo in your lifetime? It will never happen. Because when a goat give birth to goat, the children will, break, will behave like what? So, if pig give birth to pig, what would the children of the pig become? Uh -huh. So, when lion give birth to lion, what would they? Hallelujah. So, if you are of the tribe, you belong to the family of the lion, the tribe of Judah. Who are you? I can't hear you talk. Can you talk with Dunamis, please? So, if you are a lion, what will your son be? What will your daughter be? Ah, I pray for you. Your children will not be a wimp. Your children will not be vegetables. In the name of Jesus. No matter how successful you are, your children's success will be hundred times more than your own. In the name of Jesus. You will never witness any of your child become a vagabond in the name of Jesus. So that is a dunamis aspect of everything. When anything is rebelling against you in the boardroom as a, as a businessman, so what do you pull out? Hallelujah. You pull out dunamis. When you have done everything, you have done strategy meeting, you have done planning meeting, you have spoken grammar, you have brought out rule and regulation, and things are still going, you know, south. What do you do? You just speak in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Five minutes, ten minutes. Something will be downloaded in your spirit. You can now superimpose dunamis over what is happening in the boardroom. Dunamis can be used anywhere. That's what I'm talking about. Don't just be IT guy with principle, with software. Be IT guy with dunamis. Hallelujah. I decree and declare consistent flow of dunamis in your life in the name of Jesus.
Your life will carry power. Your words will carry power. Your business will carry power. Someone say, I'm a carrier of God's power. So, dunamis is not visible, but the effect and the result will be visible. From today, begin to produce visible results. Visible results. In your business, visible results. Supernatural results. Results that your co-player, your contemporary can never produce, begin to produce right now in the name of Jesus. In your industry, begin to produce extraordinary results. Anything you do in this, I said, whatsoever you do, I said, do what? Shall prosper. That's what happened to a woman, a man carrying dynamis. Anything you get involved in can never go wrong. That's my belief. If I'm involved with it, with it, it can never go wrong. It will succeed. Not because of anything, but because I carry power. Somebody shall, somebody shall, shall power. Somebody shall power. Hallelujah. Dunamis is not the respecter of persons. That's why I like, I like it. Everybody was touching Jesus. Everybody was strong in him. People were falling on him. His disciples have been following him for a long time to different places. But none of them drew out Dunamis. Dunamis did not flow to any of them. But this woman, she was a woman she was behind. She was not in the leadership. She was not at the front. She was not close to Jesus. She came from behind. And she, she touched Jesus' garment. And she contacted Dunamis. Hallelujah. If you know what to do, Dunamis will flow to you. Dunamis is not a, an exclusive reserve of pastors or bishops. No. Anybody can contact Dunamis if you know what to do. Anybody can walk in dynamics. He said, this sign shall follow those that believe in me. In my name, they shall cast out demons. He did not say the sign will follow apostles or pastor or bishop. Follow believers. Hallelujah. All you need to do to have dynamics is to believe and to have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Catherine Kuma was a woman, but the kind of power she walked in, many people in this generation are, are yet to press to that level. Even the one we celebrate, Benny In, was a disciple, hallelujah, of Ketukuma. If I'm not early disciple, towards the tail end of our ministry. So it just is, just is crash. It's what, what he contacted and what, see what he has done with it. Hallelujah. So if you're a woman here, say, I carry dynamis. I carry power. You can just be a housewife that does not exonerate you from dynamis. You can be a single mother under my the sound of my voice. You can walk in dynamics. Hallelujah. The power of God is not a respecter of person. If you do the right thing, you will trigger it. So there is hope for you. I don't care what your age is. I don't care what your class is. I don't care when you give your life to Christ. If you press for more, you will see more of dynamics. Dunamis can be transferred from one medium to the other. Hallelujah. What did the woman touch? Was it Jesus' body? What did she touch? Talk to me now. The hem, not even <laughs> the front of the garment, not the upper part. She only touched the hem, the last part of Jesus' garment. And what flowed to the woman? Dunamis flowed from body of Jesus to the cloth of Jesus and from the cloth of Jesus to the body of the woman. That's how dunamis operate. You, you now see the reason why somebody can sit on papa's seat and get healed. We've had testimony of people wearing papa's clothes and they conceived. What is at work? Is it as you say our dunamis? Because dunamis is transferable. Dunamis can move from father to son. Dunamis can move from parent to children. Dunamis can move from leaders to the followers. Dunamis can be released through laying of an hand. Hallelujah. If you know how to 
um, provoke it. You can toss somebody's car and contact dunamis. You can sleep on somebody's bed and contact dunamis. As I'm speaking right now, dunamis is oozing out. If you have faith, because you trigger dunamis through, through uh, major mediums. Number one, prayer. And number two, faith. Hallelujah. I expect you to be praying the Holy Ghost as I'm speaking right now. I expect you to be praying the Holy Ghost. Building up yourself in the most holy faith. Praying how? In the Holy Ghost. The reason why we are not assessing dunamis is because we are not activating it. So dunamis can flow from one medium to the other. Somebody can be here in Nigeria and dispense dunamis to somebody in America. Dunamis is not a respecter of distance. Hallelujah. I decree and declare wherever there is flow, wherever there is issue, maybe financial issue, maybe health issue, maybe family issue, I decree and declare, I release the dynamic power of God to go to work and dry up that issue right now in the name of Jesus. Everyone who is sick under the sound of my voice, I release the dynamic power of God, the power of the Holy Ghost, the healing virtue to dry up every infirmity in your body in the name of Jesus. I pronounce you healed now in the name of Jesus. Everyone who is ha having a court case, I decree and declare that court case is overruled in the name of Jesus. It will end in your favor in the name of Jesus. Everyone has been knocking at the door and that door remains closed. Right now, I release the dynamic power of God, the dynamics to open that door in the name of Jesus. Let every closed door open in the name of Jesus. So dunamis can be activated. That you have it does not mean you will manifest it. Now, can you remove this from the source? Yeah, press. Hallelujah. Is that still light in the socket? So why is this not playing again? Hallelujah. Because there is no supply, no connection. That there is power in Kanji Dam. Does not mean that will be power in your house. Oh, somebody didn't get it. In fact, that, that there is power in the pole outside your house. Does not mean that power will automatically come into your house. For the power to come into your house, what do you do? There must be a connection. There must be a connection. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Now, power flow through medium. Fa power flow through channels. So, but for the channel to have power, power pass through it, the channel must be what? Connected. Everything working here is working because they are connected. The screen is working because the screen is connected. This microphone is working because it is connected. Hallelujah. So if you want to activate the dynamics of God, the first thing you do is connection. What is the connection? How do we get connected to dynamics? You must be born again. Hallelujah. Then you must be filled with the Holy Ghost. There are two sources of dynamics. Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. After you have received the Holy Ghost, you shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost come upon you, right? So, but is it still possible to have connection and not still have supply? Can you switch off the socket? Don't, don't switch off the socket. Play. Hallelujah. Is this keyboard connected or not? So why is it not working? There is no activation. Connection means you are plugged in. Plugged into Jesus. Plugged into Holy Ghost. Activation means the switch is turned on. Oh. I wish five people can just get it. I wish five people can get it. Is it possible for your freed to be connected and yet it's not dispensing power? If the switch is off, is it, I wish they could switch off this, this, <laughs> this light. Amen? They don't need to even disconnect this light from the source to switch it off. All they need to do is also switch off the socket. Hallelujah. In the same manner, things 
can be cut off from supply by switching it off. It can also be activated by switching it on. Hallelujah. So how do you activate dynamics? Let me ask uh, 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 mothers in the house. Relaxer. What does it do to your ear? Does it give you a new ear? Or it activates or relaxes the one you already have? Men, don't talk. You don't know. <laughs> Praise God. I'm not talking about wig. I'm not talking about wig. I know a lot of people are carrying wig. You are carrying your natural, your natural hair. So when you apply relaxer, does it give you another set of air or it just relaxes the one you have already. So, it's possible to have ears and the ears are not relaxed, right? It's possible to have power. You are connected to power and the power is not activated. So, in the days of jerry coil, that is the kind of oil we used to apply that will make the jerry coil to really look like a jerry coil. So, the, 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 the oil does not give you air. It only make your ear to become... How many of us, uh, you've had spotting waves before on your head? Spotting waves. That is a cream you apply. It just makes the waves to appear. But it does not give you... So this is where I'm going. It's possible to have hair on your head and it's looking anyhow because it is not activated. Hallelujah. Oh God. It's a building up yourself in the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. When you are born again and you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you have a residual of power in you. It's, it's, it said the anointing you have received abide in you. The word abide means the word. It means men know. It means it settles down. Hallelujah. But when it settles down, you cannot make full use of it. That's why it said to Timothy, it said, Sear up the gift of God that has been released on you by the laying hand of the person. You have to share it up. Somebody says, share it up. Somebody says, relax it. Somebody says, activate it. Hallelujah. So, how do we activate the power of God? Through prayer. Hallelujah. Give me James chapter 5 verse 16. I'll, I'll close with that. Hallelujah. Somebody, share, somebody says, share it up. Share it up. Share it up. Help me tell triple, sear it up. The power is in you. The reservoir is in you. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You have power already. What you need is activation. 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 Sear it up. Hallelujah. Give me Amplify. This one will not give me what I want. Amplify version. Amplify. Hallelujah. Whew. Therefore, confess your sins to one another your faults, steps, your offenses, and pray for one another that you may be healed and restored. The heartfelt and persistent prayer of a righteous man, believer, you see now, can accomplish much when put into action and made effective by God. It is dynamic and have tremendous power. It is one thing for the anointing to be resident. It's, a, it's another thing for the anointing to be activated. Hallelujah. The anointing that is activated is the anointing that can be dispensed. So what that woman did was to activate the anointing upon the life of Jesus. She did not give Jesus the anointing. Hallelujah. She only activated, connected with the anointing over Jesus. And it did not happen by chance. She was praying already. If I may but touch the M of his garment, I shall be made whole. If I may but touch the M of his garment. Only God knows how many times she has said it. And because she has already used prayer to see up the anointing, the connection and access was made easy. I decree and declare, from today, you enter unusual realm of power. Unusual realm of power. You will never be weak another day. That's why I say pray without ceasing. How do you activate the anointing? Every day, hallelujah. Before you leave the house, rapakata, rapaka, raprakoto pakata. You pray, you know, pray in the Holy Ghost. As you get into your car, before you leave, declare the word of prayer. 
as you are getting to your office, before you greet any of your staff, the first thing, let them give you five minutes. The first five minutes or ten minutes, you speak words. You make declaration. Hallelujah. When you are coming back to the house, before you greet anybody, kneel down and say prayer. That is how to sustain anointing, actual anointing. It is called persistent prayer. Bible said that Paul, uh, Peter was kept in prison in Acts chapter 12. Hallelujah. Before that, James was arrested and he was killed. So easily. No resistance. No, no, no protest. And Bible said that he pleases, when he said I pleases the Jew, he also continued to take Peter also and put Peter in prison. But in Acts chapter 12 verse 10, Bible said prayer was made how? Hallelujah. Prayer was made without season. Where is that? But prayer was made without season. Is this, is this verse 5? Prayer was made without season. Okay, let's see 11. Yeah. So Peter was kept in prison. But fervent, did you see that? And what? I can't hear you. Persistent prayer for him was being made to God by the church. Hallelujah. So what happened when James was arrested? Was the power of God asleep? Was the power of God available? The power of God was available. Because, but it was not what? Activated. God can do nothing except his power is activated by prayer. I want to say that again. God can do nothing because you must give God the legitimate right to step into your situation. And that's what prayer is all about. If you keep quiet, you don't invite God, God has no right to intervene in your matter. So the more we pray, the more pray, the more power we activate. That's why he said in Luke 18:1, he said, Men ought to pray and not to. So if you are not praying, you are doing what? You are fainting. No prayer, you are fainting. No prayer, no power. No prayer, no power. The effects you are fervent, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. Hallelujah. It did not create tremendous power, but it makes it available for use. Hallelujah. The reason why you don't have enough power to use, use for your purpose, for your destiny, for your family, is because there is not enough prayer. Acts chapter 3 verse 1, I said, in the hour of prayer, Peter and John went to the temple. So the reason why they saw more miracles is because they made prayer a culture. It was a persistent culture they have. They must pray at every three words of the hour. That was why they saw more miracles. The power of God is still available like in the days of apostles. But we are not seeing it in manifestation because less prayer. We are too docile. Hallelujah. When men slept, the enemy came to sow tasks among the wheat. That's what is happening. From, from, from today, I came to wake you up. I came to wake you up. All this Jelempe, this docile, lethargic Christian life is coming to an end today. I asked them in the morning, can you go, or is it in, the, in this I can't remember again, can you go and hug transformer? Say you are angry. You are angry. I'm angry with with, the, with Tunumbu. So I want to go and out of protest, hug life transformer with my hands. Hallelujah. That will be the last hug. Ah. It's not everybody that is molestable. He said, Your adversary, the Satan, is roaring like a lion, looking for whom to devour. He will look at you. Are you devourable? He will test you small. Aha. Uh -huh. This one is a prey. <laughs> Hallelujah. From today, you cease to be a victim. I said, You cease to be a victim. From today, you are too fortified to be yeyerized. You are too fortified to be destroyed. You are too fortified to be attacked. Anyone that attempts you will cast fire. Anyone that attempts you will go for you. In the name of Jesus. Anyone that attempts to call your name 
from the coven of the herbalists, from the coven of the witches and wizards, the thunder, the dynamite power of God. We explore your behalf. We explore on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. You carry exousia, authority, and you carry dunamis. Hallelujah. When a police officer tried to effect arrest through exousia, and the suspect is not complying, they will show him what dunamis can do by pulling out a gun. Hallelujah. And dunamis is, is, in, is in level. We have shakabula. We have local gun. We have an AK-47. We have a rifle. Okay? We have a machine gun. We all manner of things. We have <laughs> missiles that you can project from one point to the other. Hallelujah. And your father God asked them in divers. Is it the smoke of God we're talking about? Every intruder of your destiny, every molester of your life, every tax master, every strong man of your father's house, of your mother's house, that has been making life miserable for you, I release the smoke of God to destroy them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every demonic gang up against you, let the thunder of God scatter them. Let the thunder of God scatter them. From today, you are untouchable. I say you are untouchable. You are inaccessible. Anyone that attempts you will go for your life. In the name of Jesus. I release dunamis into your body. Every organ that is malfunctioning right now, kidney, liver, heart, bone issues, the same Jesus anointing, dunamis that yield the flow of blood for 12 years. Every flow in your life, financial flow, medical flow, generational flow, career flow, business flow, let the dunamis of God dry up now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. You are delivered. You are set free. The chain is broken. The calabash is uprooted. The padlock is broken now. Whatever has been used to nail your destiny to the tree. Wherever your destiny has been buried. Whatever is causing delay. Demonic delay in your business, in your marriage, in your ministry, in your career. Today, I command it to catch fire. I command it to catch fire. In the name of Jesus, in this resurrection month, whatever has been causing death, limitation, I command it to be broken now. Let it be broken now. Every enemy attacking you, making life miserable, they will submit from today. They will submit from today. They will submit from today. Somebody say, I'm too defended to be a victim. I'm too defended to be a victim. I will never be a prey. Another day, I carry dunamis. I carry power. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can limit me. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and speak in tongues. Go ahead and speak in tongues. Go ahead and speak in tongues. In the next woman, speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Activate the power. See up. See up. Le kato kete pakata. Rala pakato. Le pekete. Connect once again. Connect once again. Connect once again. See up. Activate you if you are filled with the Holy Ghost. The power is in you. See it up. See it up. La pakata ra la koto. E pa koto re ke pe ke te. La kata kata kata. La pa kata kata. I'm loose. I'm loose. I'm loose. Rebel. 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 Break yourself free. Ra la pa kato. I'm too hot. I'm too defended. I'm too for 
sanctified. Le bakato, no more pray. I will no longer be a prey. La kata kata, la bakato kete bekete. I see the power of God flowing right now. The power of God is flowing right now. All kinds of diseases are being healed right now. I see chains being broken. I see chains being broken. I see generational curses being destroyed. I see men coming out of grave. I see men coming out of prison. The same spirit, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, quickened your mortal body. Quicken your mortal body. Your days in prison are over. I see angelic ministration. Angelic ministration. Angels are kind of surgery. Angels are kind of surgeries. My God, my God, my God. I see oil being poured. I see oil being poured. I see men coming out. I see men being set free. Chains are being broken. Chains are being broken. Doors are opening. Generational chains are being destroyed. I see all manner of darkness being dispelled. I see power flowing right now. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Power, power, power for your assignment. Power for your ministry. Power for your family. There are parents that will raise up children supernaturally. There are businessmen that will do business at the higher realm that the secular cannot match. My God, my God. I see new pioneers of invention rising up. I see the Holy Ghost moving. The Holy Ghost is moving right now. Take it, take it. Fresh oil, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. Someone say, I activate, I activate. In Jesus, my name we pray. In Jesus, one afternoon we pray. I beg of you, let it not end in service. Let it become a lifestyle. Consistently pray in the Holy Ghost. You are in the car. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in understanding. Make a declaration. Every opportunity you have, make sure prayer continues without ceasing. Prayer must continue without ceasing. That is how you sustain the atmosphere of dynamics, of power. There is no two way to eat. If you are coming, you better clap. There is someone in this service, you know you have been disconnected. You used to be connected. There is nothing that can flow into you until you get reconnected. Somebody wants to say, Pastor, pray with me. I'm, I'm not in touch with Jesus the way I ought to. I don't want to leave this service without connecting myself back to Jesus. If you are there, I want to give you just one minute to come to the altar right now. To come to the, it's about you. If you like the way you are, you are powerless, helpless, fine and good. And the reason why there is powerlessness is because there is disconnection. You want to connect back to Jesus once again. I want to give you one minute to do that. Anybody, anywhere, rush to the front right now. Rush to the front right now. Hallelujah. Don't stay on your seat. Don't go back after a service like this without connecting back to the source without Jesus we can do nothing he is our source he said without me you can do nothing anything you have done before is nothing compared with what you can do with Jesus why do you why should you leave this place there is somebody who needs to come and reconnect back to Jesus you know the connection is no longer there you know you can feel it <laughs> There are people that need to come to this altar right now. Why will you go back helplessly, powerlessly? When you can connect back and let the flow continue. Let the supply continue. And don't be fooled. Most times the effect of disconnection is not visible immediately. When AEDC sees power, ceiling fan will still be rolling. So, you can be fooled to think that because you see rolling is connected. No. Samson did not know that he has been disconnected. I'm saying he shook himself like before and he wished not that the spirit of God has departed him. So 
know, you know, you still have some movement, but you don't have connection. Hallelujah. You know that I don't want, I don't want form. I want real thing. The only way you can have the real thing is when you are connected. Father, thank you for this precious soul. But it's in, when we thanks given in the name of Jesus. Now that he has come back to Jesus, let the flow continue. Let the flow continue. No more powerlessness. No more molestation. The dunamis of God begin to work in you. Receive the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for restoration. I use him as a point of contact for everyone who has sensed this connection. Everyone who is feeling powerlessness. Everyone who is weak right now. I will say your strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. Lord, I pray for restoration of strength in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious we pray. Will you put your hands together to celebrate Jesus this morning? Hallelujah. Come on. Is that we do not miss or we turn? Or we don't do? <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's welcome Pastor Shea to the closest time. That powerful, what a salmon, what an anointing. What a word, hallelujah. Specially picked from the throne of grace and delivered in transforming church. Please, let's put those hands together for the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Our brand promise to you is that in transforming church, anytime you come here, you are sure of that transformational message that will take you from where you used to be to where God wants you to be. For that reason, I'd like you to quickly help me put your hands together for Pastor one more time for such an anointing in the house this morning. So this time, it's time for us to uh, pay, do our offering. Um, you've come to God this morning to appreciate him. You have a tithe, um, you have a seed, you have an offering. You want to do more than tithe. You just want to appreciate God for his goodness in your life. You want to sow a seed for this kind of message that God has, you know, just brought before you this morning. You want to sow a seed for it to actually activate that which God has um, proposed for us today in your life. Apart from that, you want to, um, you are somebody this morning, you want to travel abroad and where you want to travel to, you want to sow a seed and towards that place. You want to sow your seed in dollars, you want to sow in pounds, please. You are free to do any of such. We have different platforms that you can use to sow your seed. Um, the account numbers are there. If you are like me, you want to sow it, um, do it, e transfer, which I have done my own already. Uh, you are free to do that. Otherwise, you can go to the back. We have the POS machines. You can just slot your card and do that. You can also take the offering envelope and put your seed in there. If you have done that, I'd like you to raise them to the Lord this morning as we pray. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for such a wonderful time in your presence. We give you praise for your word that has come with power and with accuracy. Lord, we come with a grateful heart this morning to thank you for your mighty blessings over our life. I decree and declare over everyone, whatever represents stagnation in the area of their finances, I ask the Lord they are dissipated now in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree blessings upon the works of their hand. I decree multiplication. I decree increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Our bonds will continually increase and prosperity comes upon our borders. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Please, please put those hands together as we welcome Pastor Shegun for the next segment. Thank you, sir. Please, can you help me honor Pastor Shegun, sir, Jimmy? our assistant executive pastor in the house and again help me celebrate pastor sunday for the great work today we are going into the thanksgiving service immediately because this is the first sunday in the month of april i want to turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor congratulations you made it to the fourth month i can't hear you say that 
All right, so we're going to be giving um, quickly just to appreciate God for what he's done for us. Um, this is the second quarter, right? And I believe God has been good to you. He has done as well. And so we're just going to be giving, um, we call it thanksgiving. It's a giving of thanks for what God has done already. And today we're going to be dedicating, before I pray over the, our offering, our thanksgiving offering, we're going to be praying um, for Okay, no, we are dedicating. I want to let you know that we are dedicating six babies today. In fact, that's just so amazing. That's I'm trying to look at the list again. Are you sure this is what I'm saying there? Because yesterday we are somewhere to actually name a baby, and on that one is happening again tomorrow. It's just happening, it's just like we've moved into the season of abundance. That will be your experience in this month in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, so to lead us today will be uh, Mama Mary Oye in the house. Please help me celebrate amazing Mama in the house. Uh, to be followed by our executive pastor, Pastor Sunday Adiba Miro, then our assistant executive pastor, Pastor Shego Sajimi, all of the pastors will come after them and then the family is dedicating their babies today let me just quickly read to us the baby we're going to be dedicating this morning baby Ufri, yes and baby Ilera. please can you help me celebrate them baby Sean is coming to be dedicated yes I'm having baby um, Raymond in the house baby Tife Oluwanimi wow amazing baby UTB they are all in the house this morning if you're around and you know that God has done you well this morning by allowing you to be part of those that will be seen today. I want to put your hands in your pocket as I make God's blessings, as I bring his blessings upon our offering today. Hallelujah. Some people are smiling at me that, man, God is doing it this in this house. Yes. God is surprising us left, right, and center. Let me just quickly pray over it. Father, we thank you so much for what you've done for us and for every one of us that you've preserved to see this day. We say that we're exalted in Jesus' name. As we return our thanks back to you for what you've done. We pray that you'll bless our offering today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because you've done it. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The ushers will lead us how to go, um, where to follow, how to dance. Please, we want it to be expressive. God loves a cheerful giver. I want to believe to the family we are right, we are set, we are good to go now. Can you be upstanding as we get it on? Somebody is not excited in the house. Can you just move your body now? Come on. Can you shake it? Oh, yes. I love the way you are doing it there. All right, so turn up, family. Let's go now. One, two, three, go.
it will not cease in the mighty name of Jesus oh my god I think I'm going to say it one more time in fact next week Sunday just get set something great is happening you're already your pastor Soda has said you are mentioned it again you know but I want to decree and declare again it will not come to an end in your house in the mighty name of Jesus next month you'll be here with your own testimonies as well in the mighty name of Jesus can we just say thank you father for what you've done oh father we are grateful thank you for this precious gift that you've given to this house we are grateful for the gift of these babies thank you because of what you've done thank you because our garden here is to celebrate and to continue to celebrate we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful father and so we commit this once into your hands that when it is time for them to crawl they will crawl when it is time for them to stand they will stand they will walk in the mighty name of jesus you sent them here as gift we declare and declare concerning these lives they will be gift back to you in the name of jesus their, li their lives will be gift back to you in the mighty name of jesus they will not become infant of days in the mighty name of jesus concerning these ones they will discover purpose on time they will not be vagabond on the face of the earth and they will fulfill purpose in the name of jesus we return them back to you the giver and so we pray that you will sustain this one you will keep this one you will bless them all the days of their lives in the mighty name of jesus they will do well in the name of jesus thank you father because you've done it and so therefore we dedicate them father in the name of the father in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, thank you, Father. The assignment will be to nations in the mighty name of Jesus. Their greatness will have no end, no limits to their greatness. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we prayed. You missed a good place to celebrate God in the house. All right. I would like our pastors to just help me hand over the babies to their father now. Yes. Yes, I know. I would like the, the mothers to receive the gift, not the babies for now. Uh, let the fathers carry their baby and then the mothers will go home with the gift that is coming from the jewels. Please help me celebrate the representative from the jewels of this house. You are not doing it well, no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On behalf of TTC Jewels, we are here to present a gift to our beautiful gifts from God. And we say they remain arrows in Jesus' name. And we ask every mother here that is not a member of the Jewels, please, we have our platform, we have our group. Do well to join us and God bless us all in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. The men in this house are truly representing. Please help me celebrate them. Six in the month of April. I'm more sick of me. You guys are doing well. <laughs> I shall I shall be gracious. <laughs> All right, where do I start from? I think I should start from here. Please can you step forward with madame? You can come forward. You can come forward, please. And I want us to be very brief because I have limited time here. You're just going to tell us what God has done for you in less than one minute. Who's going to do that? Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'll praise the Lord. Yeah, we thank God for another gift. A beautiful girl. More bright price to collect. So, so I just return all the glory to God. With our God more monies are coming into the family all right please i just want to just step down quickly just meet mama she's going to bring god's blessings over you again please help me honor them as they go take their seat amen so brief that god has given them gifts that will make them have more gift in their house oh my god you can step forward sir and ma oh glory i know you guys who's going to speak all right 
morning, church. Uh, we've come to appreciate God for what our God did. Uh, five days after Tifa Oluwanimi's birth, we have just gone to the hospital for immunization. And uh, while seeing the doctor before immunization, we were told the temperature was alarming. Within four hours, the temperature didn't crash. So we were referred to the pediatrician. From there, we were told we were going to be admitted. Uh, before we know, baby was in ICU. Uh, two days, the next morning, we were told he had sepsis. They discovered that his umbilical cord and the navel had a problem. The stuff didn't follow properly. So he had sepsis. But to the glory of God, he was in ICU for seven days. The first 24 hours was, we couldn't even see the baby, no access, nothing. But we have brought back the fellow Luanimi to this altar. We have named him Oluwa Sheore Tokwe. Oluwa Sheore Tokwe. Thank you, TTC. Thank you, the Church of God. And with our God, all things are possible. You know what? You will say that one again. And I want to say with Mama too. Let's say it together now. With our God, all things are possible. You're welcome. You're welcome. Go we'll take your seat. Thank you. Hallelujah. And for everyone who came to celebrate with you, thank you so much for coming. You have reasons to rejoice again. Daddy Genesis, you are coming back again for Revelation. Welcome. Thank you. All right, get step forward. Thank you. Who's going to talk? You or Oga? I like your colors. Very they are black, they are yellow. You are giving back to Sprite. <laughs> With me and him. All right, so who's going to talk now? You, right? Praise the Lord. We want to thank God for this precious gift that He has gifted us with. We pray that He strengthens us to raise her in His way. And we just came here today to really get her back to God. Thank you, Jesus. So simple. Please help me hand over the baby too. He just, he, the way you are carrying the baby, self, you just do that. <laughs> It's only money you know how to count. <laughs> but that's okay. So you're going to say this to the house with our God. All things are possible. No, not all things are possible. You'll say your own and everybody will respond. Which one is all things are possible? Let's go now. One, two, three, go. With our God. All things are possible. Your voice is sweet. You'll say it one more time. With our God. Please help me celebrate amazing family. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, sir. Amen. Please, let's keep celebrating them. Mama is super happy today. Where do I start from? Why are you sweating like this? <laughs> because you were super excited. Oh, amazing. Mama, are you going to talk? Or oh, he's going to be, he's going to, and he's also kind of baby. No, don't worry. Just step forward, please. Amen. Hallelujah. With our God. Amen. Um, Pastor Shogo, I would like to say that I'm back again. Yes, I'm back again. You'll be back again. I know people who love to pay school fees, the way they are saying amen. <laughs> You'll be back again. Yeah. This happened so, so, so soon. That we, yes. I, yes, suddenly, ma. In fact, we never expected this precious gift in our hands. I was in a service like this, and um, that was when we were carrying Ethan. And we're sitting behind here, and someone was giving a testimony about uh, how they never expected a baby, and God gave them a miracle of a, of a boy within, um, I think they were having a baby six months there about, and I, I was telling my wife, how? <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> yes. So, and God decided to answer that uh, question that I was asking here. My, my wife, too, this was so funny that my wife was like pregnant for like four months, five months. She never knew I didn't know. That was how funny this, this miracle is to us. We were busy treating malaria, typhoid, and all of the hard drugs. <laughs> so it was not malaria, it was malaria. <laughs> but to the glory of God, this gift came when we discovered this gift. In fact, she was crying when she knew that she was pregnant. Because she said, she, how? How? How will she cope with it? I said, don't worry. I was, me, myself, it was heavy on me, but I was still encouraging her, calming her. But to the glory of God, God did this. And in fact, the delivery process, if they, when we knew about this baby, everything went smooth. 
we didn't no complain. Her, her delivery came so gently. And in fact, she was doing video on her, of herself till she delivered. This was like so stresslessly. In fact, it was, it was God, honestly. No stress, and it came so soon. You were not even planning for it. You didn't even know after four or five months. It was, it was with ease. That will be your own testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I, I let, you, let me allow Mama to just say with our God, all things are possible. Because you were asking in this house that how? How? And God decided to show you how. And that's why you have to tell him that, ah, indeed with you, all things are possible. Can you join me to say it now? With our God. If you want your own to be very loud, you better respond very well. With our God. You're going to say it one more time with your husband. Let's go now. With our God. Please help me celebrate them. Wow. It came so soon. <laughs> Glory be to God. Please, can you just keep celebrating them as they go? Thank you, neighbors, families, friends. Thank you for coming around. Thank you. You'll be back again very soon. Glory to God. Amen. Emoji, I thought it's only light you know how to connect in the house. <laughs> you don't need connection. Just like Pastor Son. Okay, sorry. Where am I going now? You, who is going to talk? You're going to talk. Madam, I love the way you are just smiling. Please step forward. Guys, come around. Let's see you. Come. Once you stay here with me, then you can come sit with mommy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Power. <laughs> Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. In case you came to celebrate with them, can you just step forward so that they can snap us together? Yeah, awesome, amazing, thank you. I'm here to give God all the glory for what he has done for me. I thank God for his faithfulness upon my life and my family. Thank God for making me a three-star general. So, I'm so happy. I'm just standing here to say to God be the glory. Indeed, with our God, all things are possible. Madam, what do you want to do now? Are you planning to be back again? Three star general is okay. Can we celebrate your husband? Can we salute him and say, Salute you? <laughs> Can we now say, With our God together now? With, with our, our God, all things are possible. With our God. Please help me celebrate them. Help me honor them. Hallelujah. As they go take their seat. Neighbors, thank you so much for showing up. Thank you. No, follow them. You, with this stick, follow them too. Just follow them. This thing was not removal. I said, just go like that. Guy did very well. <laughs> Glory to God. Wow. Man of God. Well done. Please step forward. Let's see you. Let's get to meet you. Okay, good. All right, good. So, who's wh wh going to talk? He's going to talk. You want to talk? Ah, Mama, I love that action. I mean, <laughs> these are my people. Good. All right, so you're going to talk, right? Wow. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> um, I'm so grateful to God for everything that He did for me and my family. I'm so grateful for everything. I just want to say thank you. And I want the church to please pray for me uh, and my family that everything to raise a child. I haven't raised a child before. This is my first time. Everything to raise a child, please. God should be stowing on me and my family. Um, thank God for everything. I just want to say thank you, God, for everything. This is what God has done for us, and it is marvelous on our side. Please, one more time, can you just help me honor the God that we serve in this house? The glory be to God. Can you just join me to say with our God now? Can we do it together? Daddy, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Can we say it together now with our God? With our God. All Let's do it together. Everybody with. With our God. 
Help me celebrate them as they go take their seat. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, ma. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. Mommy is going to pray. Mama is going to pray for you specially. Just, yeah, specially. Specially. Hallelujah. Oh. What are you people doing? Step forward, please. Step forward. He just waited. Why are you smiling like this? Come forward. Come forward. So who is going to testify? You? you? Anybody? You didn't have meeting before leaving. Hey, it is well. Though. All right. Praise the Lord, church. All right. Uh, <clears throat> this one. The way you are smiling is serious. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> you yeah, look at his face again. Give him courage. Give him power. Power. Power is power today. <laughs> All right. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate the living Father for his faithfulness and his kindness. I joined this uh, mission, this church, and to the glory of God, God has been faithful to me. I want to especially appreciate our Papa. For all his teaching at every single uh, breakfast meeting. You, you missed a good place to celebrate our father. His teaching. Come close, come close. <laughs> God has done it all the way from Aquaibom. <laughs> and you are from where? I'm from Kogi State, Kaba. So Papa's teaching took you to Kaba, went to Aquaibom. So God did it. By God's grace, I went to Convenience Light Assembly in Kubwa. And to the glory of God, I brought her here. <laughs> so I want to thank God for Johnny Messies for everything. I want to thank God for Pastor Shegun for praying with us every time. Whenever I call, he always answered. And they said, may the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be praised forever. Let me ask you one question. Everybody will not hear this one. It's fine. The, the first night, what happened? Please help me, all of them, and celebrate them. Somebody's here, I could see it's like waves. You want to hear something? It's only the word of God you will hear and the power of God. Do not miss. And what again? Please help me welcome and celebrate Pastor Sunday as he come to run up the service and bring us blessings upon us again. Thank you. Praise God. Can we put our hands together for Pastor Shegun doing what he knows how to do best? That's his realm. Hallelujah. If we leave him, we can continue for the next one hour. Awesome. That man, that man said that said that was his first time to raise a child. You will know what to do in Jesus' name. Amen. And it will not be a one-off. As many as the number of children you desire to raise, God will bless you with them in Jesus' name. Amen. And, when she, and when he said that, that struck a chord in my spirit. That that was, this is his first time of raising a child. For some of you, this will be the first time of you building a house. Amen. For somebody, this is going to be the first time of you traveling first class. There's going to be first time achievers in this month in the name of Jesus. Somebody's going to be wearing a ring for the first time. Somebody is going to be crossing a financial barrier for the first time. There are people that will step into the realm of a billion for the first time. There are people that will be invited to the villa for the first time. First time achievers. That anointing is released right now. That dynamic goes to work in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Um, something is happening next Sunday. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be great. Is that how much you are anticipating what is about to happen? So, we've been waiting. 
for this moment and thank God it has finally, finally come. 14th April 2024. We are honoring the legacy, the life, the value, the principle, the personality of our lead pastor for what God has used him to do. I said last week that I as a person have been drinking from his grace for over 27 years now. Right from my days in the University of Lagos. So, more than half of the 50 years we want to celebrate, we have been partaker of his grace. And there are those who have been partaker of his grace, the grace of God upon his life, for the past three decades. So, uh, next Sunday, we're going to be having two services. Uh, but uh, because our uh, members and leaders from other centers will be joining us, it's going to be important that you arrive on time so that you can have a good place to sit and a good place to park. Otherwise, maybe you will have to find, your, we'll find a place for you at the overflow close to the gas station. So, <laughs> and then um, in preparation for next Sunday, um, I want to prepare our heart that whatever God has given us the capacity to do, to honor our lead pastor, uh, Reverend Dr. Sam Oye, on the 50th occasion of his birthday, let's make sure that we do it intentionally, we do it deliberately. So to that uh, effect, just bow down your head for 10 seconds and ask God, Lord, what do I do to honor my pastor? I want God to speak to you. I don't want to give you any lead. Whatever God places on your, on your heart, as a family, as an organization, as an individual, uh, whatever represent honor at your level. Let God speak to you. In Jesus' precious name. For those of us who want to do something financial, the account details for you to um, make your contribution into is displayed on the screen right now. So you can take your phone and just do a screenshot of it. So whatever God has laid on your heart, a million, 10 million, 15 million, whatever it is, uh, let everything go to that account. It is out of honor. The Bible says we should give honor to whom honor is due. Uh, the lead pastor is not asking for it. The first family is not asking for it. But we have been taught properly as sons and daughters in the house. We know what to do. And we're going to do the right thing. Um, visitors will be joining us from both within and outside the country. This place is going to, you know, don't let me talk too much. <laughs> Praise God so that I don't let the cat out of the bag. But we are going to enjoy church next week. Trust me. So, also, uh, our annual leadership conference, Advanced 2024, is going to be starting this Thursday. Please. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. Let's appreciate God for what is about to happen. We are going to be hosting some of the best men of God from Thursday, 8.30 a.m. is the morning session. Uh, Bishop um, David Abio is going to be with us for advance. Pastor Jerry Eze is going to be with us, okay, for the advance. Apostle Joshua Selma is going to be with us for advance. Uh, Apostle Emmanuel Iren is going to be with us. Uh, name them. Anyone you respect in this country, you know, people that God is using at the highest level in this country, they are all coming here to the Transforming Church starting from this Thursday. So, if you are here to register, let me see your hand up. You are here to register for the conference. Okay, if you are here to register, make sure you do so on your way out. We all need to be part of this conference. Some of us were preparing for leadership. Uh, this conference is a must for you. Then, in preparation for the advance uh, 2024, starting on Thursday, we need volunteers. We need people that will... Um, Join our existing workforce to be sure that everything is in order, uh, particularly at the registration decks. About 3,000 people have registered for the advance already. That's a good number. 3,000 people. Okay? So how do we manage that kind of, you know, crowd? So that is why we need um, some of us to come on board. So if you have done your TLDP and you are yet to do ACM, uh, we just want to request that you volunteer you can work as a volunteer during this advance. So if you want to volunteer your service, either for registration, you know, purpose, 
you know, or any other purpose, offspring purpose, make sure you drop your name and your phone number on your way out. All our second uh, timer guests, second timer, you are coming for the second time, second time guests, make sure you drop by at the information desk to pick a gift from our late pastors to you. All right. At this point, I would like that um, the media take it off from there. Some of you are too nice for breakthrough. You are, you are a very nice person. You know, I don't like disturbing people. This nice, you are nice, doesn't have any reward. Though. Go and meet the man for a job. Sir, you know, I don't like disturbing people. Go and knock on the door. Sir, you know, I don't like inconveniencing people. That's why life is inconveniencing you. Papa, you know, for me, anything that will come to me will just come. <laughs> That's why you are where you are. Help me slap somebody. Say, you are looking nice. You are too nice. He said, ask. It shall be given. Knock, ask, and keep on asking. Dear Reverend, Leader, we are in awe of your steadfast devotion to Christ's teachings. You eloquently convey words that touch souls. There are things you are about to start seeing if you choose to start daring. Commit yourself to developing your influence. If you think you can't, it's true, you can. Your wellspring of inspiration seems boundless. Yet humility graces your every step, exemplifying where admiration on the special day. Happy birthday, Reverend Sam Oye. Have you seen my baby? Have you seen my love? Have you seen my woman, my personal gift from God? Let's commemorate. The remarkable journey of devotion and companionship as we celebrate the anniversary of our beloved pastor, Reverend Dr. Sam Oye, and his wonderful wife, Pastor Mary Oye. Their bond embodies the essence of love, dedication, and divine favor, inspiring and guiding us not only through their teachings, but also through their actions and unwavering commitment to each other and the community. Their partnership shines as a beacon of hope and serves as a testament to the beauty of enduring affection. Let's pause to honor and cherish the remarkable example they set, the wisdom they impart and the warmth of their love. May their days ahead be brimming with the same joy and blessings they selflessly share. Happy anniversary to an exceptionally extraordinary couple. Prophetic Prayer Hour with Reverend Sam Oye continues tomorrow from 5 to a.m. Kindly join PPH Tribe on YouTube, Facebook at Rev Sam Oye. Walker's Inspiration Service, WISE, holds every Sunday at 8 a.m. prompt. All workers are mandated to attend. The Human Capital Academy HCM for intending members commences on Sunday, 20th April 2024, immediately after the second service. All members who have gone through TLDP and are ready to become workers in TTC should kindly register at the information desk. Keep praying, you know. The angels need billboard to work with. No, the stage is not for training. One thing you must consciously do is to destroy your sense of accomplishment. Failure is an event, it's not a person. Rise above it. I am the bread. Stop seeking my hand. Seek me. Who are you farming for? You're running around acting as if you're somebody, and Satan doesn't respect you. Not everything that looks good is God. And if we want to build something that will last, we cannot run just with emotions. You are the one that they used to call. You are the one that their birthdays must be remembered. You are the one that they have to buy gifts for. And everything has to be about you. With all due respect, you are extremely narcissistic. I'm sorry. Learn how to guard your words. Volunteers are urgently needed for Advance 2024. Interested persons should kindly register their interest at the information desk. CTC holds every Saturday and Sunday. Kindly visit the information desk to know the location closest to you. For those interested in getting married this year, 
The premarital class for 2024 is ongoing. Kindly visit the information desk to register. God measures your success as a child of God by how you are changing, not by how much your wardrobe or your houses or your bank account is changing. You keep your eyes on things, he keeps his eyes on you. Join us this Thursday for the Transformer School of Personal Development. It promises to be explosive. Time is 5.30 p.m. prompt. Endeavor to invite a friend. Prayer shawls, Christian books and audio CDs are available for sale at the bookstand. Kindly visit to purchase the items you need. Remember to follow, subscribe and engage us on all social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at Transformers NG and YouTube at The Transforming Church. Hallelujah. So this week is going to be loaded for us, starting from Wednesday. For some of us, our work starts uh, from tomorrow. So Sunday is going to be the grand finale where um, all the friends of our lead pastor, both home and abroad, some of them will stop by to be part of the service on Sunday. So let's make sure that we have adequate preparation. And all of us need to be part of this celebration. It's a father in the Lord that we're celebrating so nobody should be exempted. So whether you are coming for the first service or second service, make sure you prepare for the celebration. And it's going to be a, a good place for you to invite a friend, a, a, maybe a friend, a colleague, a family member next Sunday. Uh, I tell you, church is going to be interesting next Sunday. And don't miss it. So uh, all leaders and all workers should wait immediately after the service. And for some of us who want to... Uh, maybe specially reach out to the lead pastor as a mark of honor. Uh, you don't want to do something financial. You can walk up to me, whatever God has placed on your heart. Maybe there is, um, you want to give a car, you want to give a house, a land, whatever, you know, that you can do at your level that signify special honor, double honor. You can meet me, meet Pastor Shagun Saitimi or Pastor Shagun John. This is going to be a good place for us to say thank you to our lead pastors and of course to honor them for the great work God has been using them to do. So all the second time guests should pick their gift on their way out. Uh, this is month of April, right? A special month. How many of us were born in the month of April? We were born in the special month. We are sharing the month with our lead pastor. Uh, you are blessed. So. <laughs> Can you stand up to your feet? Let's just have a word of prayer together. Father, we thank you for these precious souls. Thank you for this month of their birth. We ask that you will give them a special package for this month in the name of Jesus. Everything they've been expecting this month, it will enter their hands in Jesus' name. The Lord preserve you. As you have seen this year, you will see many more years in Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. So after the service, not now, uh, you can just come out. There is a cake that is uh, specially prepared for you so you can Take a uh, take picture with it, cut it, and enjoy it, you know. Uh, and as you do so, the celebration will continue in your house. It's time for us to close the service, but I wouldn't want to do so without recognizing some special people in our midst. If today is your first time ever of coming to worship with us at the Transforming Church, can you just wave your hand at me? You came very, for the very first time. Today is your very first time. I can see a lot of hands up. Will you be okay for you to stand on your feet so that I can speak a word of prayer over you? Just a word of prayer. Whatever you, you stand, wherever you are sitting, stand on your feet. This is the transforming church you heard about where lives are being transformed. It's your father's house. You are not a stranger. Okay? Father, we thank you for this precious source. We receive them with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. We ask that you will give them the sign that they came to the right place in Jesus' name. As they leave us less dynamic power, the dynamic power of God, be at work in their lives in the name of Jesus. Every door you've been trying to open, I decree and declare, now you are authorized to open it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Please, I would like to request that you don't sit back. Just pick your phone, pick your bag, everything you came to touch with. We want to give you the opportunity to be the first to exit the hall. We have a special reception for you. You are our VIP guest. I want to treat you like that. So please, just Pick your bag, your phone, whatever you came to the church with, and walk close 
walk towards a closed door by my left. As you exit through that door, you will experience open doors this week in the name of Jesus. We love you. We've been expecting you. You are so special to us. You are not part of the crowd. No. You are special gift from God to us. We honor you. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming. TTC, come on. Show these people our hospitality. People are still coming out. People are still coming from behind. Keep celebrating them. Keep appreciating them. Thank you so much. We love you. We honor you. We appreciate you. You mean so much to us. You mean a lot to us. You are not part of the statistics. Wow, wow. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. We want to appreciate those of us who have invited our friends, our loved ones to church. What we have done for others, may God do for you much more in Jesus' name. Can we stand on our feet as we share the grace and fellowship? How many of us have enjoyed service today? You, you, you had a great time. All right. So let the atmosphere of power continue. And how do you do that? By continuing in the place of prayer. Pray without ceasing, then you will see power at work without ceasing. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Help me announce to five people who care to know I carry dunamis. Don't play, don't play with me. Don't toy with me. I carry dunamis. All workers, all leaders, please wait briefly, just for a briefing.